<laughs> what are these sprites? They just, like, moved Kling Klang's position around a lot. That's funny. The gear Pokemon. I never would have guessed. Alright, well, we can fuse Kling Klang with something. Um... I'm kind of stumped that Genesect isn't here. I was really expecting to be fighting a Genesect right now. Oh, hello. Do you think this Rocket Admin was selling the truth, or is Team Rocket really disbanding? I don't know, but now that we have this cannon extension, we'll finally be able to complete Experiment G. Okay, G for Genesect. People will finally understand that Team Plasma is a force to reckon with. Huh, who's this? God, it's just a child. I don't think he can hear us. <laughs> I docked our motorboat at the harbor. Let's not lose any more time and head back to the lab. Okay, so Genesect is at this P2 laboratory. So I wonder if I can actually just use... If I can just take a ride here to get to the P2 laboratory. Heal me. What are you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to play the video game. Mainly. Chaos, do you have a Discord sor uh, server? Yes, I do. If you type exclamation mark Discord, it gives you an invite to it. Oh, there they are. I will warn you, my Discord server is full of madmen. They spent like an hour today arguing about how steak should be done, so enter at your own risk. Quit loitering and hop on the boat. Ah, uh, you know I get seasick. It's the only way to get to the lab without raising suspicions. Hurry up a bit. All right. These two weirdos that came in here and left on a motorboat, they said they called themselves Team Plasma. They remind me a bit of Team Rocket. They're probably up to no good. You think we should follow them? Yeah, random guy. Come on board, then. We're following these bandits. The P2 Laboratory. It's raining. What Pokemon do they have here? Magnezone. Just off the riff, huh? Okay. My eyes. Oh, hey. Are you the kid we saw in Chrono Island? You followed us all the way over here? Yo, is that Team Plasma music as well? Aja King? Yo, that's sick. I like the shadow behind it. Yeah, I dig this. Aw, oh, idiot. Get predicted. Your King Shield means nothing to me. I'm getting a plus two. I was wondering if you were Steel or Ghost. Slade. All right, this one's fine. Little on the basic side. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, Age of Dash is pretty cool. You know what? I'm gonna we're gonna have a classic Gyazo screenshot noise for this one because I think that Jet would like to see that one. The back half of this playthrough has become me taking pictures of, like, all the horse and butterfree fusions that I see to show Jet. Hey, uh, die, by the way? Polynair? Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Suddenly, Pokemon snap? Yeah. I am stronger than you expected, aren't I? Team Plasma is an underground organization that's been gaining a lot of momentum here in Unova. In just a few years, we'll be bigger than Team Rocket. I mean, Team Plasma... Oh, these are all the drives for Genesect, huh? Yeah, okay, that's cool. Team Plasma is like the best evil team, so... This lab is top secret. Turn back immediately. Ravion? Okay, yeah. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. I'm dancing. I love to imagine Ray Gigas just like actually doing some ridiculous dance moves. He just breaks out into some Fortnite dances, break dances a bit, like spins around, etc. I'm pretty sure when this thing gets to plus two attack and speed, the opponent should just forfeit. Is this Terry McGinnis from Batman Beyond? Shout out to Batman Beyond. One of the best cartoons of all time. You lived! Oh, you were in shield mode. Okay. Yo, Sacred Sword animation is actually pretty clean. I dig that. I should have gone for EQ over Dragon Dance. I thought there was a chance it could be Ghost Dragon. And also, uh, I didn't want to run out of EQ PP. 
I jinxed that tile man time. Bow, bow, bow. Nidozard? Okay, that's cursed. Get that off of my screen. Thank you. I'm gonna give you Scald over Hydro Pump, but you can have, oh my goodness, you have so many good moves. <sighs> Spatial Rind is the worst move here. I mean, Fire Spin is the worst move, but I'm gonna replace Fire Spin with like Flamethrower for Stab Flamethrower. Spatial Rend is the worst move here, but it's Spatial Rend. So I'm gonna keep it even if it's the wrong choice. Spatial Rend is the worst move there because it's not Stab anymore on Pal Corona. Shocking. We spent years developing this Pokemon. I will protect it no matter the cost. I thought Team Flare was inter interesting, especially because one of their members was an Elite Four member. One of their members being an Elite Four member never amounted to anything, though, did it? Also, Agelord? Holy cow. Have I seen this fusion before? I feel like I've seen this one. It looks great, though. I didn't really care all that much about Team Flare, to be honest. And, like, I'm, like... Correct me if I'm wrong, but that one chick, I can't even remember her name, she's so unimportant. That one E4 member, like, being a part of Team Flare never, like, even did anything, did she? Other than be an Elite Four member, it, like, never amounted to anything? Popping in to say hi, catching up with the other Fusion VODs, understandable, Kyogre. Thanks for dropping in. Galv Galvani, I can't even say this thing's name. They can't even fit this thing's name on screen. So, you know. Level 74, by the way. She joined Team Flare for the health benefits. The Team Flare had better health benefits than the Elite Four? Dang. Mimonite? Yeah, that's a pretty slick fusion, to be honest. I wish I had gotten that one for my Mimikyu fusion, because I never found anything I wanted to fuse Mimikyu with. Um, are you fairy flying? No, I think you're Ghost Fly. Okay, so the right attack here was Dragon Claw, which I, like... That was that was hard to figure out what move to go for there. Sup, idiot. Easy Ice Punch. Ow! Alright, that thing was a problem. Thank goodness it didn't have Disguise. Scartrum? Oh my goodness, that's incredible! Is this like... Is this a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Is this like... Is this Red-Eyes Metal Dragon? That really looks like Red-Eyes Metal Dragon, doesn't it? Either way, it's an incredible fusion. Fantastic. It's not Blue Eye Blue Eyes Metal Dragon. Is there a Blue Eyes Metal Dragon? I mean, it's not straight up Blue Eyes White Dragon. It like... It's got, it's got some like matching stuff, but it's, it looks more like red eyes metal to me, but it does have blue eyes. I'm gonna flinch you to death. Alas, I tried. Like it has the color and the uh, eyes obviously, but the body shape doesn't really look blue eyes. It looks more red eyes to me. Ow, you're fast. Oh, you're not flying. What, you're Steel Dragon? Why don't I go for Origin Pulse if I think you're Steel Dragon? Almost killed. Alas. Should have sent out Groudra way earlier. Why are you so fast? I mean, you're you're level 74. That's why you're fast. Skarmory and Tyrantrum are not that fast. No, 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 no! It 
it's too late, the lab could be exposed. It could compromise the entirety of Team Plasma. We have to bail. All right, I need to go heal. In case there's like a Team Plasma like boss or something. What the heck just happened to my button inputs? This place, we're a long way from the Sebi Islands. I think we might be in the Yanova region. Did you want to go back already? Yeah, I need to heal. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. I'm ready to set sail to the P2 laboratory. Thank you. We're headed for Unova. Hello. I'm just a scientist, please spare me. Team Plasma hired me to genetically engineer the most powerful Pokemon to date. I've spent ages working on it and it's now mostly complete. All right. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? A Pokemon appears to be inside the vat. Open it, absolutely. The Pokemon attacked. Yo, opening up like the, the chemical vat and Genesect like running out of it is actually really cool. Oh no, his Spatacros. Um, you're Bug Steel, if I remember right. Perfect. Ow. I guess you are plus one Spatac right now. Should have thrown a quick ball off the rip. Um. I don't have, I mean, I have Toxic and Scorch, but I don't want to use those. I'm going to catch you in this candy ball. It's just going to work right now. Calling it. I'm the greatest right here. Okay, well, how sick would that clip have been? If it worked, right? Like, it would have been pretty awesome. You got to admit. Also, aren't there, how many drives are there? I thought there were five. Are there only four? Am I short one? Is he holding one right now? Not try attack. You having try attack is actually a problem with your spatak up. Wow, I chewed that. Never mind. I guess I could use a net ball, yeah. I'm kind of just stalling time for timer balls. There are only four drives. Huh. Fair enough. I've never, I don't think I've ever caught Genesect in a game. I only have one netball. But this is the netball that's gonna do it, baby! Oh! My clip farming is failing. It's failing so hard. You would get the burn. Where's hydration when I need it? Why is the legendary Pokemon music so loud? I think timer balls should be at like max power by now. Ow. Pretty sure you can't catch Genesect in a game. Is he an event only Pokemon? I've never gotten the event then. You know what I meant. Do a throw a normal Pokeball clip? I already did that with Arceus. I'm doing it again. Check this out. Check this out. Rocket Ball right here. It's all it takes, baby. Because I'm the best. Ah. Dude, no clips today. Just no clips. No clips allowed. How many turns does it take for a timer ball to be super effective? Uh, timer ball needs, I think, 12 turns to reach maximum catch rate, which is times four. Is it 12, Chad, or is it 10? I think it's 12. I remember looking up this math once when we were uh, playing Pixelmon. Is it just 10? I really thought it was 12 for some reason.
I thought it was 20? No, it's definitely not 20. Okay, you know what? Can't, can't count on chat. I'm Googling it again. Pokemon. Timer balls. Uh, Bulbapedia, you'll tell me the truth. Bum, 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 When used from the bag in a wild encounter, it attempts to catch wild Pokemon. It has a catch rate modifier that increases with the number of turns that have passed in the encounter. So this counter is zero on the first turn. Calculated as followed. Um, it's different in Gen 3 to 4 compared to Gen 5 onward, and it's unnecessarily complicated looking math. Please just tell me the answer. Okay, here we go. It is turn 10 onward in Gen 5 onward. In Gen 3 and 4, it's actually... It doesn't hit times 4 until turn 30 plus, which is asinine. That is insane. But it is 10 turns. Where did I get the number 12 from? Eh, who knows. <laughs> Look at how stupid it looks in that one. But it's cannon is gone. I'll take this one. Paleozoic Pokemon. Nice. We engineered Genesect to be the most powerful weapon there is. We revived it from a fossil and then enhanced the Pokemon with the power of science. You can change the type of its signature move by inserting various drives. Did they ever, um... Did they ever explicitly say what, uh... What legend or what uh, fossil Genesect was revived from? It was like there was a lot of uh, speculation that it was either Armaldo or Kabutops, wasn't there? I think it was mostly like Kabutops, but also it's a bug type, so some people were like, well, it might have been Armaldo. Because Kabutops isn't a bug type Pokemon. They never said what fossil it was. Fair. Fair indeed. We could do another double legendary fusion with Genesect now. Any of you have like really good Clink Clang looking fusions? Ooh, that looks really neat. Super Skarmory. Oh, could also be a good one. Steel ice can be an interesting typing. What on earth is this dragon steel one? <laughs> Definitely plenty of options. That Lugia one is a little tempting, not gonna lie. Could actually fuse, could double up on a Genesect fusion. We could get a, I would like to actually keep the bug typing. We don't have many bugs. Genesect Cure and Bug Ice could be fun. This would be Bug Flying if we do Ho-Oh and Lugia or not. Doesn't even have a bug version with a uh, Ho-Oh. Or with Lugia. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Honestly, we're kind of reaching the point where, like, I don't even really have time to fuse any of the remaining legendaries. Because, I mean, we could fuse them just to look at them. But, like, we... We're out of time for, like, using new team members. Because, actually, I'm looking right now, like, what are we about to go do? We need to go to Resort Gorgeous. Because I have not been there. And then after Resort Gorgeous... Like... I know we, we have all of the, um... We have all the badges now, so we need to go talk to Professor Oak, and then Professor Oak is probably going to send us to Mount Silver, and I don't know what we're going to do at Mount Silver. But that, like, might just be it? I don't think we're going to rematch the League, unless I have to for some kind of, like, uh, story thing to happen. Resort Gorgeous! All right, well, getting here was easy. A master ball? Hi. 
Hello, my name is Selfie. Welcome to Resort Gorgeous. I'm exquisitely bored. Please hear my wish. I wish to see a Pokemon, a fusion between a precious Squirtle and a darling Oddish. I want to see one right away. Please make my wish come true. Don't have. How dreadfully boring. Does this chick have like a random fusion she wants to see every day? I don't have a Squirtle, so. Is it just this chick's building? Is that all that's here? Okay. Well, I thought there'd be like an actual town here. What does she give you? I'm not gonna waste my time trying to make it happen. What does she give you, chat, if you show her a fusion she wants to see? Does she actually give you a Master Ball? Is that what happens? Hey, is that spoilers I see in my chat right now? Please don't. That's a timeout. She does give you the Master Ball? That's crazy. We might actually be able to catch the Lotties if I could make that happen. I don't want to try and get a Squirtle to spawn, though. Well... I think I'm gonna go talk to Professor Oak. 